So uh, you've played a few more games since the last time that we spoke to you. How have you found your integration into the squad? It's been a, a, a tougher period for the team, so it hasn't been um, easy, I would say, to come in. But I've been uh, trying to just focus on my own um, my own game and what I'm doing and obviously um, help the team. But um, it hasn't been easy, but uh, I'm trying to settle in as, as well as I can. And I'm, I'm enjoying it for sure, but would have enjoyed it more if we um, had gotten more some, some more wins. But yeah, it's, it's been good. And we've seen you in two different positions. We've seen you in the back, we've seen you in midfield. Mm. How do you think you're doing in each of those and which do you prefer? Um, I would say I'm more comfortable as a centre back. I've always said that I am a centre back. Um, always played that as a kid and growing up in academies and stuff. And then I came to college and I started playing a little bit more as a centre midfielder. Never really thought I would do it at the professional level, so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, still not 100% used to it. I haven't done it in a while now. Um, but yeah, after after some minutes into the game, I felt I felt fine and felt kind of settled in that role. But I would say I prefer center back more. Yeah, but whatever the whatever and wherever the team needs me, I'll be there. Yeah. How do you feel you've settled in with the difference in weather and everything that goes along with that, and just the team in general? Good question. Yeah. No, today was a hot one, and it's it's getting even hotter. I heard like 111 or something on Saturday. But. Um, Honestly, like without the humidity, so even when we went to Connecticut, like it was totally different because it's like humid. So I was sweating everywhere and stuff. While here, it's a different kind of heat, but uh, it's fine. And yeah, team's great. Teammates are are unbelievable guys. So it's easy to settle in. Yeah, no worries about that. One of the fellow new additions, Eric Cozy. Can you talk about what it's been like playing with him, having him? On the team as well, kind of what you've seen from him so far, and what he's like as a teammate. So I know him a little bit from before as well. Not well, but he played for UVA, so Virginia, so our rival school, and I actually have a lot of like common friends uh, with him because he comes from Roanoke, which is like one of the closest cities to Blacksburg, where my college was. Oh, okay. So I played against him multiple times, um, and one of my good friends, Danny Pereira from um, Austin, uh, is like his best friend from childhood. Uh, so I know him a little bit. Um, so when I saw him. Um, at the first session, I was first of all a little bit surprised because I didn't know he was going to show up and I hadn't heard anything. But uh, I know he's a quality player, and I've been battling against him in midfield in college for many years. And he's a very good guy as well, so I think that could be a good good addition for us. What does his personality kind of bring to the locker room? Well, good question. He hasn't been here for that long yet, though, so I don't want to say too much about his personality. And I don't know him that well. I can ask uh, Danny Pereira for you and get get back to you, to you on that. Yeah. As you mentioned earlier, it's not been the easiest time in recent weeks. So coming off of that game on Saturday, what was it that Rick told to you, said to you guys to try and pick you up? Um, he was just actually giving us some stats from the game. Um, possession, shots, shots on goal, stuff like that. Um, I guess try to ease our minds about the performance a little bit. Um, I thought um, from a performance point of view, it was in some parts of the game a step in the right direction. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get all the three points. I think if we play that that game like that um, a few more times in the future, we would probably come out victorious. Um, I thought we deserved more, but it was just one of those days. Um, not saying that we were perfect in any way. I think we can improve a lot from that performance as well, but um, I thought it was a step in the right direction in some parts of the game performance-wise, um, and I think he would agree with that. Talk about improving. Is there anywhere specifically that you think you guys could have improved from the performance? If we're talking from Saturday, obviously goal scoring. Uh, we had some opportunities that me as well that we could have scored on and maybe should have capitalized on. Um, let's see, and then creating more opportunities as well. Um, we had the ball a lot and we're on the counter breaking away or in their half and whatever. And yes, we created some chances, but I would have liked to have seen that we created even even a bit more. Um, but if you see from the games before that, like that hasn't necessarily been an issue. Um, so I, yes, in this game maybe it was like that, but in general, no, necessarily. Are you coming up against the top scoring team in the league mm -hmm. on Saturday? Mm -hmm. How's that make you feel as a defender? I kind of like that. Um, I did that in college a couple of times, um, and I think every time we did that, uh, it ended pretty well defensively. Um, I guess we switch on a little bit more. Um, you know it's a good opponent offensively that you're meeting um, a high scoring team. Um, so maybe it keeps you a little bit extra on your toes. Um, and hopefully, yeah, uh, clean sheet would be great. Absolutely. And then, you know, there's two teams who are historically up near the top of the Western Conference. This mm -hmm. year, you're both kind of in mid table. Mm -hmm. Does that add or take away pressure? 
I don't want to speak too much about the past because I haven't been here really, but I know it's been like that, yes. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't say I'm worried about the pressure, but we feel like we have to win this game. Um, but we're more worried about the performance than anything else. We know that if we can go out and put out um, a better performance than we did against, against Birmingham, it will probably look better at the end as well. Um, and that's everything we're worried about, yeah.